What's up with everybody? It's your man Moya B. And Nicole. And we're back in with another reaction video. Mm -hmm. Special video request from Reese Anderson. Reese Anderson is a huge supporter of our channel. And he or she, <laughs> but and Reese wanted to react to Pirates in the Earthquake that destroyed Port Royal. Okay, man. I'm definitely looking forward to this, man. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I love these kinds of yeah, videos. Man. They're so intriguing. Yeah, they are. Always learn something new. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is going to definitely be pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, if you want to support the channel and send us a special video request, check out the links to our stream labs. It's going to be in our description and our video yeah, course. Yeah. And keep it under 10 minutes. Let's dive right into right. it, baby. I'm the history guy. I have a degree in history and I love yeah. history. And if you love history too, this is the channel for you. He seems kind of like a nerdy history guy. Yeah. <laughs> 325 years ago today, on June 7th, 1692, at 11.43 a.m., an earthquake struck the island of Jamaica and its capital city of Port Royal. Yeah. The bustling port town was nearly destroyed. But Port Royal was a pirate city and by yeah. some descriptions the most yeah. wicked and sinful city in the world. Yeah. And the irony of a city like that being destroyed by the hand of God was not lost on the people of the time. And so the so most 1692 the Jamaica mm -hmm. earthquake offers us a yeah. unique opportunity to talk not just about the history of Jamaica and Port Royal, but it offers a unique opportunity in modern archaeology. And for the history guy, it offers an excuse to talk about pirates. Hmm? <laughs> but let's start out trying to understand the real pirates of the Caribbean. Because of the wealth of the Spanish colonies in the Americas, the Caribbean, which was known as the Spanish Main, was a particularly uh, yeah. rich place for Kenneth. people who made their living raiding merchant ships on the high seas. Dang. Raiding home. I guess what it is. them weren't really... General power ships and steal stuff off there. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Yeah, right, yeah. 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 Look at that power. He's like... I know. Yeah. But he said that the most of them weren't really pirates, so I'm curious where this oh, is going to go. Oh, okay. That's what he just said. Yeah. yeah. So then what were they? Yeah. Pirates. They were privateers. Oh, the privateers. The great powers of the day, the British, the French, and the Spanish, were frequently at war, or at least at odds, and so the governments would issue things called yeah. Letters Remember of we Mark. Saw a video about the Letter pirates of Mark is permission yeah. from a government to raid enemy ships at sea. Huh. So privateers are actually, in essence, mercenaries who are acting as private soldiers and who are paid True. with the value of the booty that they collect. And that is mm -hmm. the value of the ships and the cargo and the passengers and crews, either for ransom or as slaves, is how they got their pay. Now these mm -hmm. are different than pirates. Pirates do the same thing. They raid ships on the high sea for the value of what they can collect, but they do so without the protection of a letter of mark. Yeah. And so they are so pretty much more no federal government to behind the law. Yeah. Yeah. Now the line between the two is actually pretty thin, and a privateer might exceed the authority of their letter of mark by, oh. say, raiding a ship from the wrong country or making a land raid. And so most of the people huh. who made their living doing this sort of thing were at sometimes pirates and at sometimes privateers yeah, in the course of their life. Yeah. In the Caribbean, there's a unique term They're like a rough life to live. Uh -huh. And that actually originally like a rough life to live. Landless much hunters like whole on life the island of Hispaniola yeah. who Still would hunt people. wild pigs and wild cattle. And then they would usually dry that into what in French is called vin bouquine, or roughly beef jerky. Huh. And so the people who did that, those Just men were called bouquinets. And the Spanish didn't like them for a number of reasons, not the least of which was that they provide supply to the corsairs that were raiding the Spanish ships. And so the Spanish chased them off the island of Hispaniola, and many of them ended up becoming pirates themselves. Hmm. And eventually the term, which was anglicized to become buccaneer, was used to refer uh. to all of the various pirates, corsairs, privateers that operated in the Caribbean. Although they yeah. were pirates, they were not uncivilized. The pirates of the Caribbean had formed together a loose organization that was called the Brethren of the Coast. The this was a syndicate yeah. of captains who, both freebooters and privateers, had organized together in order to regulate economic activities, largely to prevent conflict among the various pirate groups. I was going to say. Yeah. In the early part of the 17th century, the Caribbean pirates largely operated off the island of Tortuga, which is a small island off the coast of Hispaniola, mm -hmm. or modern-day Haiti. But in 1655, Hispaniola. a British fleet captured the Spanish island of Jamaica. 
And the British governor, knowing that the Spanish wanted to take Jamaica back, invited the Brethren of the Coast to use the new capital of British Jamaica, the port city of Port Royal, as their home port. Huh. Yeah, okay, the British got a ready-made force to defend Jamaica from the Spanish, and the pirates got a safe, deep-water port with easy access to the rich shipping routes of the Spanish main. The deal worked out better than they could ever imagine. Not this only the successful sweet. buccaneer captains like Henry Morgan, who was the most famous and feared buccaneer of the 17th century, bring in lots and lots of wealth from the Spanish ships it's that crazy they had how the was. But the Spanish were yeah, so disrupted that yeah, they were unable to meet the Spanish colony's need for manufactured goods. And so the Spanish colonists were forced to buy their manufactured goods from the British merchants in Jamaica. Ironically, many of those goods having been taken from Spanish ships by uh, uh, pirates. That's interesting. This system, which was called forced trade, made Port Royal one of the wealthiest cities of the day. Wow. It was a okay. bustling trading town. There was so much money, gold and silver, which had been taken by the pirates that the amount of running cash in Port Royal relative to the population was greater than the same amount in London in the day. Dang. And it was such an important trade city, the largest city Making in the Caribbean, that Port Royal was points. more important to trade <laughs> than Boston was. But Dang. it was a pirate city, and as a pirate utopia, it was boy. filled with cutthroats like, oh. and thieves yeah. who had lots of money, and so became a well-known center of debauchery, variously described say. as the Sodom of the West and the wickedest city Dang. in the Christian yeah. world. It was so debauched that the city of Port Royal had one public drinking house per 10 residents. It had lots of Dang. prostitutes and brothels because a prostitute in Port Royal could make more money than almost any other place on earth. Jeez. And it was so known for public drunkenness that say. even the pirates' favorite pets, <laughs> parrots, you developed a taste for wine and were frequently drunk. Toe up. And the got city the, was built on shaky foundations. Literally. Port Royal is at the end of a sandbar. It's built on sand, oh, not land. Whoa, and no if there way. wasn't enough room to build, they would frequently just dump sand on the water and build buildings on top of that. That doesn't and because work. Because they had yeah, money, I've, sometimes I've, those I've were heavy hold stone buildings that those were literally built eventually on start sinking. Yes, I'm saying. Sand. It won't hold up. The earthquake That's what I think struck he's at 11.43 a.m. on June the 7th, 1692. Wow. It came in three great shocks, the largest of which was estimated to be about 7.5 on the Richter scale. That's a pretty big one. The ground yeah, beneath the city earthquake. liquefied, a process called liquefaction, and the entire what? port city seemed to roll down like, towards yeah. the ocean. In a period of just two minutes, two-thirds of the city of Port Royal went below in sea two level. minutes? The sand Dang. rolled in great like waves, so great like, fissures, yeah. and when people fell in, those fissures would then close and <gasps> crush the people. And of course, many of the stone buildings also collapsed and crushed That's why he said people. they believe like an act of God, Dang. because like, it sunk in and it closed shut. Yeah. It could have been. That would be scary. It would. It like, the earth just and swallowed And then the city up. was yeah. hit by the tsunami, which put nearly 90% of the city below water and capsized more than 20 ships in the harbor. Of the city's population of approximately 6,500, about 2,000 died in the initial earthquake and tsunami. Jeez. And afterwards, deprived of shelter and clean water, nearly 3,000 died of disease mm. in the aftermath. Port Royal tried to rebuild, but then it was struck by a series of disasters. In 1805, a fire burned most of the city to the ground, and several Damn. hurricanes of the early part of the 19th century left Port Royal abandoned except for a small British naval station. The capital of Jamaica was moved to Spanish City, and most of the trade that had been in Port Royal was moved across the harbor to the city of Kingston. Yeah, the symbolism still of the yeah. Sodom of the West being repeatedly destroyed <coughs> by acts of God was not lost on religious leaders of the day. Yeah. And Port Royal was held up as the symbol of divine retribution hmm. and spurred a religious revival in Jamaica that turned the population against the pirates. The era of the buccaneer was ending anyway. The British and Spanish had signed a peace treaty, and the pirate success was starting to threaten that treaty. And economically, the slave trade and sugar trade began to overcome piracy as the way to support Jamaica. Hmm. And so Jamaica started passing anti-piracy laws. Ironically, many of the pirates, the pirates of the off. early 18th century met their end in the former pirate utopia of 
Port Royal at the British Naval Station there, and a place that was ghoulishly called oh. yeah. Gallows Point. Gallows Point. I think I heard of it before, but Gallows Point. But the earthquake Point. and the process of liquefaction offers an unparalleled opportunity for modern archaeology. Yeah. The entire city of Port it Royal kind sunk of like in just a couple of minutes sand. was buried yeah, in yeah, the yeah. sand. I bet you could go excavate them now. Record. That'd be cool. Usually archaeological sites are places that were occupied for a very long period of time, and you have to dig through years of garbage to figure out what's what. But yeah. Port Royal, the city that sunk, was preserved at a precise moment in time. And hmm. some argue that it is the most important archaeological site in the Western Hemisphere. It is our best record mm -hmm. of life in the 17th century. Huh. In fact, the way that we know that the earthquake occurred at precisely 11.43 a.m. is because of a pocket watch that was discovered in an say. archaeological dig of one of the ships in the harbor. Stopped at exactly 11.43 a.m. That's going to happen. Yeah. A permanent record, a remembrance of the very last moment the golden age of was it like piracy. 1143. I think it was AM, I thought, but I don't know. I'm the History I'm Guy, and I hope you enjoyed this edition of my series. Super five interesting. minutes of history, short snippets of forgotten history, five to ten minutes long. And if you did say. enjoy, then please go ahead and click that thumbs up button that is there on your left. If you have any questions or comments or would like to suggest another topic <laughs> for the History Guy, then please write those in the comment section, and I will be happy to... Yeah, that was pretty crazy, man. So it's like... I know. Could you imagine just being yeah. like... Yeah. Into yeah. the... I mean, it's I kind of like close. quicksand. If you yeah. think about it, because it's quicksand, is kind of that way, but it's different. I mean, this was like a fissure that opened up, but then because it's sand, sand just buckles in on itself, so it just. I mean, they were doing a lot. Of, they were doing a lot of messed up stuff, man. The pirates, right. man. So it's like it came back on them. I mean. But I bet that it wasn't just. I mean, I bet there were like women and children and things like that. There was women. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, I'm sure there were like whole families and stuff yeah. too. But I mean, right? A lot of it was pirates. A lot of it was prostitutes. So, you know, you can argue what you want. Yeah. But, some, Still, I mean, some people, like if you're religious, some people probably thought it was an act of God because... That's what he said. You know, yeah. prostitutes, you know, people right. getting drunk, doing all this crazy stuff. So it was just like... And it wasn't just one, it was like a couple other natural disasters. So they felt yeah. like it was divine intervention yeah. saying, this yeah. is what you get, you know. I mean, you kept doing all this horrible past, stuff. So, so yeah. I get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, definitely pretty interesting. It was super man. intriguing. I definitely yeah. did not know that happened. Yeah, I mean, you know... <laughs> you know so yeah, yeah, Reese. Uh, we definitely thank you for this thank awesome you so video much. and your support mm -hmm. of the channel. Um, we are going to end this video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It's your man Mario B. And Nicole. We're gonna catch you on the next one. Stay awesome and peace and love, baby.